Yeah, let me tell you about. Please do. Okay. Uh, I love her. So do you remember when she had her modeling agency? Yeah, I mean, listen, Janice is, there's so much that could be said about Janice. So much, and you cannot take nothing away from her. It doesn't matter what type of attitude she has, she deserves it. There's so much you can say about Janice Dickinson. I read her book, did you read it? Yeah, Crazy. I'm like, she's Crazy. led a life. I only dream to have those types of experiences, and I'm sad that we're in COVID, because I can't, you know? Yeah. But, wow. So now we're back to Janice Dickinson. Bef okay, after I tried out for, what was it? Ebony Fashion Fair and wasn't able to go on. I tried out for Janice Dickinson Modeling Agency. I forgot really? about it. Really? So, yeah. you, so you tried out for that TV show? Yes, I was. I didn't, I didn't realize, whoa, okay, I was trying out. Yeah, I tried out for the TV show. I did. But this is what happened. So I tried out, I was there all day and it just didn't seem like my, it didn't seem, it didn't feel right to me when I was in the line waiting. But I was there waiting. We finally got inside to see Janice. Now I had on like some, some regular t-shirt, some skinny jeans and some flip flops. Because for some reason, subconsciously, I didn't take it seriously. And I was like, let me just show up here and, and, and wow these people so I got in there and it was like seven of us in line it was co-ed there was guys there was girls there were seven of us lined up and she goes in line asked us all our age and I said I was I think I was 20 at the time she's like oh wow you're perfect you're very beautiful um and you have narrow hips just like me the fashion industry would love you oh my gosh but you don't have on heels and I can't take you like that so bye so I was like okay okay girl and then I just walked. That's how I did not get on Janice Dickinson's show. But she remembered me when I was on Tyra's show. Really? She like, yes. She was like, I remember you. You came to my audition because you were one of the only girls that had an actual model body. And you had those thin, narrow hips because I was very skinny, just naturally. So she's like, and I've never seen a black girl have thin, narrow hips like you. And I just thought you had so much potential, girl. But you can't ever walk into an audition with fucking flip-flops on. What are you doing? Like, who? And I was like, I didn't know. But, um, like, we had, we had a moment. And then fast forward after Top Model went off, my season went off, and I had, like, a press run. I was doing some show. And she was doing the same show that day. It was like a talk show. You show up. And yeah. She was there doing the same show that day. So we were in the green room. And I was like, oh, my gosh, hi, Janice. And she's like, hey, you know, I think you kick ass on the show. Like, I think you're going to have a kick-ass career. You need to get you a good agency. Go to Paris. You're going to have a kick-ass career. You know, and if you need anything, tell me. So she gave me her phone number. She's like, call me whenever, girl. And I was like, oh, thank you so much sort of thing. I didn't utilize her phone number because I was intimidated. Um, not intimidated. I was nervous. I was like, she doesn't really have time for me, so I would never call Janice Dickinson, you know. But um, that is that's wow. That's what happened with me and her, yeah.